Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven and today we are going to be setting up my next journal. Now you might not recognize this top journal right now because it actually has a cover on it. I decided to quilt this cover. Some of it's not done very well so I want to make a new one and it turned out a little small but this is what it looks like and this is the journal that's inside. So you've seen this journal before on my channel. This journal did not take me very long. It has been about a month and a half to two months, which for some people is longer and some people it's really short. For me right now, it's short. So I have this cover that I keep on here now, but I'll just show it without the cover. I did some sewing on the edges because I was playing around with my sewing machine, but I'm gonna be moving into this composition notebook that I got from Target next and I need to decorate it with you guys so that I can work on it because I have already finished this journal and I need a new journal to get into. Now I did add this little embellishment. I sewed it on. I have been loving sewing in my journal. I just started and I want to incorporate that more. But yeah, let's start getting this journal set up. And as you know, since I'm setting up this journal, that means there will be a flip through of this journal pretty soon. So this is the journal. It has a band. No normally composition notebooks do not have a band so that was one thing that drew me towards this journal like I said is from Target and here's the information on the back I've been liking working big because my daily journal is so small for reference this is my daily journal and then this is going to be my other journal so I like having a bigger journal and I've been liking composition notebook journaling this one technically isn't a composition journal but it felt like it and so I really want to work in like an actual one um, even though this is like a non-traditional composition notebook but still like the same thing and the pages in here are really nice so we're gonna try this one out and see how it goes it might be too big but we'll see so for the cover I need to pull out my stickers I just got some new ones that I think would look really cute on this cover let me pull out my other ones as well okay I got a bunch of stickers I'm gonna put the cat stickers to the side because I'm really considering those. I got these stickers from Target, I believe. Yeah, these are from Target and I just thought they were really cute. So I have these. I'm liking that. I also got these plain star stickers just off of Amazon. It came in a set with a bunch of different colors and I really like these. So I might use some of those, but I like these red hints in here because it matches the background. I'm really feeling this sticker here. I've never gotten a chance to use this sticker and I've always just really liked the look of it. It's from like a coffee shop or it's like a stand at a farmer's market. So I think I'm just gonna place this on here. I also just love these cats. I just got it the other day and I think I need to put them on here. And I love the bagels on here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna be too particular about this notebook and I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. I'm wondering, oh, I think that looks cute. Putting this one up here. Or I could put it down here. I like it up here. Okay, this is what I've got right now. Let's see if I want to add anything else. I think this sun could be cute. Oh, it's a clear sticker, so gotta consider that. I might not put it. I might try to keep this one simple. Then I've got stickers that I could use. I love these silver ones. The blue is also cute. I think I might put silver. Now these tend to pop off, I think. Or not pop off, but they'll probably scratch off at some point just because they're smaller stickers. But we're gonna see if these ones last or not. Okay, I think that's it for the cover. Let's open it up. Still got some strings hanging off. No. 
here. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I'm definitely going to incorporate some of these silver stickers again to match. I also have these really cool letter stickers from Dollar Tree that I could use for a title. And I've got these sheets of paper from Daiso as a little border. A little title card. I'm going to glue down this because I really like this. I'm just using the pit glue. Well, is it the pit? No, this is just Tombow Mono Glue Stick. Okay, what's the middle letter of journal? J O U R N A L R. Okay, these letters are so cute. I got like three of them when I found them at Dollar Tree because I love them so much. They're super colorful. They all have different patterns. And um, look at them. They're just like a fun bubbly type. And then I also have numbers from Dollar Tree. These are the numbers I found at Dollar Tree. I had found them before and I was so excited to find them again. So this is journal number 15. Let me double check. Yep, this is journal number 15. Honestly, I might just do it in the solid pink. Okay, and then I'm going to put my start and end. Now I'm going to look through my collage sheets and see if I have anything that I want to put in like this area maybe. This is my bin of collage sheets. On top I have the full sheets and then here I have ones that I cut up. In here I have little words. And I'm pretty sure there's one that's like the start of a journal. Got this little This Journal Belongs To by Pocket Journal Pam. I might put that in there. Okay, I think that was it. And then let's look. This one is super cute by Susie from Susie's Tiny Desk. This elephant might be cute too because it's nice and big. Got a plant. Got a big pencil. Okay, let's look. The pencil might be cute, like up here. And maybe like the plant down here or something. Or we got the elephant, kind of like the plant. Could also put this down here with the plant, but maybe it's good to spread it out. I'm gonna glue this plant down. Today I'm being very decisive. I don't know why. I'm just choosing things instead of giving myself more time to consider the options. I just am picking. Uh, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe I'll regret my decisions, but that's okay. I believe this pencil is from Jenny Mae June. And I think the plant is from Susie's Tiny Desk. I feel like this just doesn't match any of this journal. So I'm not going to stick it in. I'll leave it for a different journal. Mm, okay, that's this little cover area. I don't know why I have this little flap here, but it's cute. I just really wanted to sew something in at that moment. I need to trim these little edges. There we go. Okay, so this is journal number 15. I'm very excited about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I think I'm just gonna keep it there. It's probably pretty short, but I 
don't really have any more decorating to do. But yeah. Oh wait, let me see. Do I want any of these? Uh, I don't think they fit. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.